Hi, beauties and curls. It's Melissa. Welcome back. If this is your first time, welcome. I absolutely love these videos. I love the best of 2016. We're going to get straight into it because this is going to be a long video. Get some high end. I cannot go without talking about these two palettes. These really blew me away and I think that they blew away anybody that got a boxy charm. This was in, actually one was in the September and then the other one was, I wanna say in the November. I think the first one I got was the Warm Palette. This is such a beautiful palette. Such a beautiful palette. I feel like it has a black, it has a transition shade, it has shimmers, it has more mattes than shimmers. I feel like that it has a brow bone, it has a transition shade, it has a chocolate shade, it has beautiful shades on the lid, and it has a black. I feel like this is the must-have palette for anyone that is wearing eyeshadows. I feel like these, this would be a great starter palette. And that is the warm tone. The cool tone one is just as beautiful. I've used this before and I love it. Now, instead of having a black, it does have a smoke gray. And I really do love both of these palettes. The pigmentation is crazy. I absolutely love these. These blew me away. One of the best of beauty palettes. And I'm just serving this as one since, well, it's two palettes. I can't cheat. But if i had to choose palettes it would be abh they just not knock it out of the park even with the old formulation it was such great palettes i feel like the combinations everything and so let's start with the modern renaissance since it came out first i was so glad that they made this permanent this is an excellent 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 palette if i could recommend any palette to you i would say get this one it's a permanent line palette save your coins and instead of getting even a drugstore palette because you know what drugstore is coming up on price so you might as well get a good quality palette um i love these shades i haven't even dipped into the pink ones yet i think that i'm going to do i haven't even done i don't think a look using this palette on my channel so i'm definitely gonna come even though I'm tardy for the party, I'm, I'm going to do it anyway. It definitely could have went with something that I had on today, but I absolutely love this. I love this palette. You know what? It doesn't have a black in this palette, and I still love it. That's how much I love it. I feel like that this is, again, a warm tone girl's dream. This one blew me away, and it actually had me doing a double take because not only does it not have a black, but these colors, when you first look at the palette, you're like, oh, it's mediocre. These are palette, these are colors that I have probably already have at home for the makeup lover. If you don't have this palette or you weren't able to get this palette, don't fret, stay on the channel. That's all I'm gonna say. But I absolutely love love i have already made a dent seriously into fifth avenue do you cannot see that this is such a gorgeous palette mario did a wonderful job with this i feel like you know i'm using lula isabel uh hollywood fifth avenue paris and muse all the time all the time so i'm gonna mention another palette but this one is a contour palette i feel like Makeup Shayla just hit this out of the park, especially with it being such a versatile palette. And the shades are gorgeous. These two, this one I usually use to bronze. I use this one to contour. The middle is a like bronzy tone. And then these three, I love the fact that you can also throw these on your lid and use these as a highlight. This is like the under eye highlight and this is like that glow highlight and it has an amazing mirror one this i have gone through i think three or four bottles of this this is the nyx dewy finish long lasting setting spray i love this because they have a matte but i love 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 the dewy i can't this one is like if i sprayed this on my face right now this would be gone I love this. This is nonstop for me. It's something every day. It's not expensive. It's like about between six to eight dollars. And I really do love it. It does give me that nice, fresh feel. I can spray it on my beauty blender. I can spray it on my 
pigments or anything and it's going to stick. So this is kind of like, although it's a dewy finish, I can also use it in the form of a Fix Plus. And you know, Fix Plus is going to be in everybody's favorites video, I feel like. And I can't live without this. Like I have a backup already. I absolutely love this. And this I have been using for a while and I just never talked about it on my channel until recently this year and this is the Caudalie, um, this is the Beauty Elixir. It's a glowing complexions and smoothing. I feel like it does such a good job of, you know, moisturizing my face. It does well with setting. I just really love this. You see how much I've used. I feel like this is an amazing product and I feel like this, every, like uh, whether you're oily or dry, you need this in your life. This is the Mist and Fix 2. It's like, it's a makeup setting spray. And it's long lasting and moisturizing. I think whether you're normal to dry or if you're a combination of oily, you're gonna love this. I actually use this with my face and body or my water blend foundation, my makeup forever. And I really did like this a lot. I sprayed it on and it lasted so much longer. I absolutely love this. And of course, anything that I'm talking about in the best of this year would be a repurchase. Finally, I fell in love with this so hard in the, I did a project pan and I, I fell in love with this. This is the Re Revita Lift Moisture Blur Instant Skin Smoother Moisturizer by L'Oreal. I love this and I'm, I've already put some in my Amazon cart. I did not see this anywhere in drugstores or anything being sold, but it's still on Amazon and I'm going to take advantage. It reminds you a lot of the Angel Veil, but with more moisture, I feel like. but. I absolutely love this if you are a dry girl. It's kind of like a moisturizer slash primer in one, and it definitely does blur out pores. So I just feel like it does so much that I can't just keep it to myself. I gotta share it. Let's talk foundations. Okay, so in terms of foundation, I cannot go without talking about this from the drugstore. This is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Cushion. I have started to really become addicted to cushion foundations, but I am in W5.5. I really do love it. It gives me great coverage. It lasts all day. I do have a review on this, and if I can remember, I will put it down in the info bar. So two more that I cannot go without talking about from the drugstore. The L'Oreal Pro Glow. This is amazing. It gives a radiant finish. It's 24 hours. It's medium and it's air light. And if you want to take it up a notch, talk about the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1. I have it in 09 tan. Oh, and by the way, I, in this, I am 209 Caramel Beige. I love these foundations. I feel like you can get quality complexion products from the drugstore and I love these. And there's nothing like a good base, honey. You got to have a flawless base and then go from there. If anything you're gonna work on is the foundation. There's nothing if you don't have a good foundation. Can the church say amen? Okay. Okay. So BB cream, even for every day with some protection. I love the Naked Skin One and Done Hybrid Complexion for Perfector. This has SPF 20. I actually go in with a little bit more protection, but this has a pump. It's amazing. It gives great coverage. And I don't think I did a review on this, but let me know if you guys want a full review and just to see it on the skin. I am in the shade medium dark, I believe. Where is it? Yes, medium dark. I love this. I want to say it's a foundation and really it is. I think they couldn't even call it a BB cream. They couldn't call it a foundation. So they call it a hybrid complexion perfector. And it's definitely that. And I've always loved the Urban Decay's like beauty bombs and stuff, so I absolutely love this and I won't be without this. I'm just saying. Okay, so we're talking about new releases. I do have a favorite drugstore corrector and that one is from NYX. That's a dark circle co uh, corrector. I believe that's how it's called or what it's called, but I also have two 
high-end brands that I have to talk about. I can't, I can't. My absolute favorite, I have a review on this, is the Makeup Forever Invisible Cover Ultra HD Concealers. These has not topped anything, anything, anything. But I have to honorable mention the Naked Skin Peach Corrector and also the Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer in Medium Dark Warm. These are so good. I believe the Doe Foot Afro, it's not even Doe Foot, I don't know, it's flat, but it, it's like a flat applicator. But this is such like my favorite every day. Now, if I want to take it up a notch and be snatched, I'm using my Ultra invisible ultra hd invisible cover these are so good i do have a review like i said but they have correcting shades and they have concealing shades and brightening shades i could not go without talking about these and yes they actually came with deeper skin tones um they came with concealers for deeper skin tones i absolutely love that about makeup forever my favorite are y41 and r40 I love them. In terms of bronzer, we're going to talk about this Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion. Nothing has topped this. I am in, I am in Y30M. I want to say, yes. I have the matte. This is the matte one. The way that they tell you to use this is to take a kabuki and buff it in. This is so beautiful. When I want my perfect tan, this is amazing. The alternative that I discovered from the drugstore is pretty awesome and it is from wet n wild it is the contour palette from wet n wild in the shade caramel toffee i love this not so much the under eye i really haven't been playing with that but definitely this one is amazing for bronzing my skin i love it i love it i love it and it's so so amazing i can't be without it like I said, I talked about the Makeup Shayla. That's the, my favorite contour that I've liked. That was a new launch this year. And I cannot go without the Butter Blonde Bronzer. Now, there's a reason why this is in a box. We'll talk about that later. But I absolutely love this. I have it in the shade Bronzer. There is a lighter one. But Physician's Formula. Can we get more than two shades of everything? Like, I watch Alana Davison and she loves your BB cream. Moi can't use it. Why? Because you only make two shades. Come on, Physicians Formula. The tan girls, chocolate girls, olive girls won't love too. I actually use this eye because it's like, it's like that, it's not ashy, but it's not warm as the caramel toffee. I can use this actually to contour a bit. So I love that it's beautiful and, and building the product. And I'm so glad that they have this around and they have not discontinued this. I can say that, right? Physician's formula, you did good. Or bring some more complexion shades, okay? In terms of under eye from the drugstore, I fell in love with the Pacifica Perfect Lotus Universal Powder and Natural. This looks so beautiful under my under eye and it really brightens and illuminates and wakes it up if i want to wake up like a little bit of instant coffee under my eyes i'm gonna use this i absolutely love it and the packaging is so so cute y'all know i have talked about these maybelline better skin i use one for bronzing which is the 95 coconut and 80 rich tan is my perfect shade these are like these remind me of the studio fix foundation powders I love these. They're so, so smooth. I've been trying to find a good powder from a drugstore that does not dry out my skin. And this contains salicylic acid. And a lot of times, acne, things that correct acne prone skin usually dry my skin out, but not these. I absolutely love these. And yeah, just a great, great powder from a drugstore. Let's talk blush. Y'all know I was going to talk about this. Mm. This is uh, the black radiance baked bronzer and toasted almond y'all know it was coming cj of beauty essentials my sissy talked about this and she was like girl get this like if you don't get any other blush get toasted almond and then come and talk to me you know what i did i said girl 
you were right. This, this is so beautiful. I don't care what complexion you are. This is gonna look beautiful on your cheeks. You can't tell me that this is not a beautiful shade. It very much reminds me of a Chanel blush that I can't remember the name, but I had it on and it was just, I was like, oh, I tried it in the, at the Chanel counter and I was looking and even the shape, the dome shape reminds me of the Chanel blushes, which I am gonna indulge in, get one one day, but, I absolutely love this for toast. For right now, I will deal with toasted almond quality at the drugstore. In terms of blushes, high end, I have not talked about these, but I discovered these this year. I haven't been talking about these. I love these Too Faced Love Flush blushes. Oh my goodness. I know people talk about the Tarte. We talk about the eight hour, I want to say the eight hour by Urban Decay. Those are great blushes, but I fell in love with these. This is in the shade, this gorgeous shade, I Will Always Love You. Love this. And then this one, oh, when I don't know what to put on or what eye makeup I'm going to use, I don't care. I can throw this on. This is Baby Love. So beautiful. In terms of highlights, now I'm so excited to talk about highlights. I got a couple. I have one, two, three from the drugstore. So let's talk about high end. I fell in love with Makeup Forever just can, they just keep coming back and just slaying it. Oh my goodness. Makeup Forever. I love you. I love companies that actually listen to the consumer. We talked about taking the Pro Sculpt Take the bronzer out, give us the highlight, boom, that's what they did. This is in zero one. I love both of them. I just, I don't know. I have been gravitating more towards pinky shades lately on well, this one. This is the Makeup Forever. It is the Pro Light Fusion in zero one, but I love zero two. That's the one more rose gold warm shade, but love this. This one's like opalescent pink opal today. Sunshine, it's limited edition, you guys. But I think I'm gonna come and show you guys a dupe because I think there's one that I have seen. This is from the Taraji collection by MAC. MAC just was doing his thing this year. This is Highlight the Truth. I love this highlight. I have it on today. Y'all see that? Mm -mm -mm. It's so appealing. I feel like this would be appealing on any person. Once I come with the dupes video and show you guys, oh, you're gonna thank me. You're gonna thank me later. Y'all, these three are all from Wet n Wild. Now, let me tell you, Wet n Wild gets the award of the year from the drugstore to me. They just do. They just do. I have three I wanna share with you guys. The Wet n Wild Bougie Brunch. I used this at Gen Beauty 2016 and everybody was asking me, what highlight is that? When you have all high end and your highlight is drugstore and nobody knows because it's so on bleak. Yes, one of the best, one of my favorite actually from the drugstore. I really do like this. During the summer, but well, you took it up a notch and you brought us Precious Petals. Now I like Crown of My Canopy, but Precious Petals just, woo That one just like beams from the moon and back, okay? You can go to, what's the furthest one from the sun? Pluto? You can wear this from Pluto and see it. Okay, this is so, so beautiful. And the reason why I'm not open and swatching it is because for a reason, okay? Then during the holidays, when Wild came with Holy Gold Head. What? Y'all. Mm, mm, mm. Year of the highlight. I'm just saying, 2016 was the year of the highlight. Wonder what this is gonna be? When Wild blew it out of the water. They get the award for it. They just get the award to me for 2016. Just overall. But highlight? Mm, they killed it. I cannot go without what cover FX. What? What did you do? Liquid? What did you put? You put moon in a bottle? You put unicorn dust in a bottle? 
what? Color Effects did it. This is in the shade Sunlight. I want to say yes. Love these custom illumination drops. Amazing. Then I discovered this one from Ipsy. I did my the I did a collab with Ipsy and that was a November glam bag. What? This shade from Naked Cosmetics in the shade Desert Sunset had my whole face illuminating. Yes. Y'all kept asking me what this was. Oh, this was so good. I was so glad that I got this in my Ipsy Glam bag. I shared it with you guys. And it let me know that there are more functions to just pigments than going on your eyes, dust it on your face, and just look like a unicorn breathed on you. Yes, this is unicorn breath. Unicorn tears, unicorn breath. I know, I know it's a palette. I know, I know. But this M palette, the shade Play Artistic Eye Color Palette by M Cosmetics, the bomb. I talked about this so many times on my channel this year. I could not go without. It's really great. These are buttery for the eyes. I love it for the eyes. It's a universal palette for the eyes. It's Sahara Nudes is the name of the palette. But I tell you, these two shades. My brows were snatched, were grabbed, were yanked. Yes, all day long, all day long. So I absolutely love this for my brows. I love it. Okay, so, so two brow pencils that wowed me. This one first was from the drugstore. This is the Brow Stylist Definer by L'Oreal. This one is so good and it's from the drugstore. The other one that just like blew me away and I, when I first got it, I was like, oh, wait, oh. I just let it sit around. But the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Brow, oh, love this five times better than the Brow Definer. I'm just saying. The brow definer I'm having issues with because it's like too creamy. The brow wiz is just like stiff and I like that it's very fine and you can do those hair like flicks. Brow definer, it's good, but this is a good. Let me show you something. I love multifunction. So you have your spoolie, you have your angled pencil, which this consistency is excellent it is stiff and they have the ash brown where it's like you know you need to have dark but you don't want to look like angry mad groucho march oscar the grouch no we don't want any of that but they also have what the highlight for your brows you didn't even know that existed there did you hands down my favorite brow product high end i'm just saying right rc i mean, no color powder yeah Kathleen, girl, thank you. And the three from the drugstore is my lash accelerator. I love this for my bottom lashes. This is amazing. But let me tell you, if I could get one, this bumped up to number one for me for both my top and bottom lashes. The CoverGirl Super Sizer Fibers. CoverGirl. This is amazing. I love this, oh my goodness. And it gives you fullness and thickness. I did a review on this on my channel and this is so good. Kathleen girl, you know mascara. This is the best lash extreme volumizing mascara. This is so good. This is the best mascara that cost $4 in my life. It is so volumizing. It reminds me of the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black. I haven't even bought that since I got this. I love this mascara, it's so amazing. The next one is the Tartiest Mascara by Tarte. Tarte's been like really doing their thing. I like, I'm really loving Tarte right now. And this mascara is pretty darn awesome. I love the Lights Camera Lashes, but I am loving this. I can't say that I love one more than the other. It's like trying to pick children. Which child you gonna love more? No, I love all my children. I love you Lights Camera Lashes and I love you Tartus. My lip liner of the year that I love. Okay, I have Nudist and I now have Primrose because it was sent to me by an influencer, but the Marc Jacobs Pout Liners are pretty amazing. Yes, 
These are a notch up from MAC to me. They are retractable, which I love, and it also is like self-sharpening, but these are the creamiest lip pencils I have ever tried in my life in my life and I love them they're long lasting you saw it in the demo of the La Cream Lamarck La Cream lip creams Lamarck lip creams yeah these are amazing I fell in love with these before the Lamarck lip cream but these are amazing I want to give a mention to the Lamarck lip cream just because that was like that was like towards the end of the year but still I know I'm cheating in a little bit but that is a satin lip beyond my imagination. That's high end and then I have one that's from the drugstore. This is from Soap and Glory. This is the glossy stick. A lot of it has rubbed off, but this is in the shade Nudist. I love this. I have to show you guys this. I have been killing this. First of all, it's retractable. Second of all, this is like the best. This is like a trifecta. This is a lip balm, a lipstick, and a lip gloss all in one. Enough said. Lip creams by Milani. These I've talked about on my channel. I love the NYX Liquid Suede. This is the cream stick in the shade Soft Spoken. I love this shade. It's such like a mauvey brownish nude. And the this is a butter gloss by NYX in the shade Madeline. I love this. It's so creamy and it's glossy and y'all can tell it's in the same family okay and the Smashbox oh, Smashbox what you doing over there doing a great job yes this is the always on lipsticks this is in the shade uh, dream huge and I just love the formulation these are so cute they're compact I love the I just they're so nice so nice and I like that they don't distribute too much product the doe foot applicator is amazing on here because you just apply just enough and it's a comfortable liquid lipstick so it's all about being comfortable after after a while you know what I'm saying and then um, this lip gloss really blew me away I use this in the November Ipsy Glam Bag collab with Ipsy and this is in the shade Naked and this is by Melanie Mills it Gleam uh, Lip Radiance by Melanie Mills. Love this shade. I'm going to get some more of these, but this is in the shade Naked. I love it. I love it. This paired with the Marc Jacobs. Shut the front door. Oh, y'all. Best collab. Best collaboration at MAC. Hands down goes to Mariah Carey's collection. Hands down the best collection at MAC. The packaging, it gets A1. It gets, it, it, it is the best packaging of the year. I don't care where it came from. It was like the best packaging ever. Love, love, love. Y'all, everything glitz and gold. Silver, yeah. Let's just, let's just stop right there. Let's just stop. The Milani lip oils. I think these are lip oils. This is in zero one. This is the coconut one. Y'all, it is like almost gone. Hello. Love, love, love. Okay, and I finally wanted to show you. This is like one of my favorites, but it's like nobody like knows. I got this idea. She did it like DIY. I didn't take it further. I actually need to. But this is how I store my lashes. This is a pill box. Pill box. You put pills in it and you know, you distribute it for like 30 days or whatever. But y'all, I got my lashes in here. I know it looks like spiders, but they're lashes. I love the fact that I can store these. Now I know the House of Lashes, I can get that, yay, yeah. But before the House of Lashes came out with the like little book, I had this anyway. So I was like, why do I need to change? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. So I love this. Kashal Beauty gave me this idea and I want to come. She labeled it and you can decorate it, make it look cute and everything, which I think I'm going to do. But definitely a favorite that I learned about in 2016. 
So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. So if you've made it to the end of this video, thank you so much. You are an OG for real. You're just, you've just been inducted. I'm just saying. So thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe if you hadn't already and I'll see you in the next few days in another video.